Hello, welcome back to Let's Play Metroid Prime 1. Left, left off. Speaking in a British accent. Now, I'm going to. Oh, 1% was like, what? Okay. Yeah, we're going to activate the fusion suit. Yeah. Why is this here? I don't know. Yeah, I can spin my controller in the air and then catch it upright. Yeah, I did it. Hell no. Code 4, idiot. Whatever. Yeah, I might as well have it on. Just for kicks and giggles. Yeah, we last left off just discussing how I would go about this game. Oh my god! Yeah, there's some really bad parts that uh, um, it's gonna be hard to get the spider ball because it's like one of the most important items. Ooh, ooh, I'm gonna bend the dad. Oh. Hold on. Gotta scan all the thinguses. Yeah. Wow. It's an ambush. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, fusion suit's pretty cool. <clears throat> Let me get situated here. Yay. Yeah, I have like my bed my um my bed used to have like two futons on it. And since it was like not really good for my back, haha, I'm 11 and I'm carrying for my back. And uh, so I just took the futon and put it on the floor, and I just sleep on it now. And it's actually pretty good, comfortable. Hmm. Dang it. There we go. All right, I'll go ahead and do a little ghetto jump here and collect the missile. An early missile. And right, then you can actually like hop across there and do a tricky little jump right there and get another missile. All right. Now let's press the morph ball button like I had the, like I had it or something. Didn't know how good it would do me since these guys have instantly killed me before. And that's never good. Ow. Might be actually having to use the turbo controller for this. And later thoughts. Alright, let's see if I can just skip this fight entirely. Yay. Once I actually made it through here without, like, triggering the boss ever. Yeah, this is the more fun we've been thinking of with our blueiness. Our blue goingness. Yay. Okay. I think there's like a little thing. Come on. I can find it. Okay, fine. This will have to. Ooh, that's. Can I like just stand right here? Okay, you stand right there, and then we go. No oh, crap. Yeah, yeah, I did it. You gain nothing from that, you can because you can just space jump over everything. But hey, okay. it just makes the music go on for like a century and a half <clears throat> until you enter like the ion room or something. Wow, it just it terminated all the scarabs in here. Pretty nifty. Yeah, another big old beetle thing that will never appear. But I'm not really targeting. I mean, I might, I might get it later. Just might. I have no use for going down there. In a normal run, I would go down there to get a few extra missiles, but <coughs> I'm not doing that now. No, I'm not. We're go under everything. Hmm. Yeah, I've never actually never done a low percent run before, so that'll be interesting the first time around. 
I do know all the tricks and stuff thanks to Big Up on the Bus' 23% run. Uh, it's a very nifty. I will be getting the boost ball by- oh, I gotta scan these things. I will be getting the boost ball, since it's way too suicidal not to. Because, I mean, I'm not trying to be that much that. Yeah, Reaper Vines. Whispers, as Nintendo Capri Sun for some reason calls it. Oh, yeah, I like a lot of pe- I like a lot- I- I hate a lot of people who other people like a lot. Like Nintendo Capri Sun, I don't like- I don't like him, I don't like- I hate Lance Soon, I can't- I can't stand him. I mean, he's kind of egotistical. And he's kind of a- you know what bad. And he kind of makes crap. And he kind of makes crap out of really epic stuff. You know, just the modern things. Cough, cough. Metroid, other M, and black holes. Cough, cough. <coughs> uh, actually, I actually have no really, really use for going up here. It's, oh yeah, I do to get the bombs. But normally, like, if I wasn't going for expansions, I could, I could go in the lower passage and then up here, but now I'm, but now I just realized that it doesn't really matter since, uh, yeah, it's a low percent one, and it's act and actually don't, not gonna get the charge beam because that's what the lower passage leads to. And the prog. Admire him. I mean, once it like made it perfectly through this tube, it's oh yeah, I should make a speed run of this game. I wasn't like that, but still. By only six minutes, and I've already gotten this far from the talent of a world to the this boss. And this is the incinerator zone, and this is a locked door to scan. Oh, oh, oh I need to. Oh, oh, come on. I can like balance perf uh -huh. like I can like balance perfectly on there. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. But I can't do it after this phase because the lost is coming out. Well, you get the point. Now you can just like stand on top of them. Make it a little bit easier. Yeah. Oop. I can hear him when he comes out. Oh my god, oh god, oh god. Can't be as careless as this time around. The energy. Ah, da. Okay, but they'll just fight in the normal way. Those will be more efficient. Yay, missiles. I should just be using my regular shots, but I've discovered when I normally play games, I really don't want to use my missiles. It's kind of a habit, and then I end up having a lot, <clears throat> much more than I could have, and end up dying because they don't use said missiles. Unless for, like, bosses or something. There's actually one in particular boss you can't use missiles on. That's a hive mech, that's a hive mech, though. Because, like, you're not meant to have missiles then, so why would it damage you? Actually, something tells me that this, uh, the game designers really intended you to sequence break this game. Because, uh, there's this one point I'll show you. Well, it'll be like later on. Uh, in there you can bomb the sandstone and get a missile. I have 100%ed this game many of times. Many times. Not many of times. Ocarina of times. Times two! Okay. Alright. They all just committed suicide. Bomb slide. Oh wow, that actually worked. I like lay I like uh laid it right after I took off. You can't lay it down there and it'll activate the Wait, what the heck am I doing? I don't even need to do this. Bad habit, sorry. Crap. This just leads to an energy tank, which I am not getting. It's an only a low percent run. And this is like a little passage you can take. I'm actually not sure if it's uh quicker or not. Because it's like. Just kind of waste more time with the bombs. If you can just rush through there, then yeah, it'd be quicker, but. 
Actually, I'm not sure. And then you can uh, jump on this and up there and bomb the thing and get a missile. You need the space jump to do it, though. Okay. <clears throat> Heading to Flargra. Now, I'm going to save right here because... Well, first of all, it's a boss. And... Gosh darn it. No. Not just energy. This is a really hard sequence break after this. That I've only perfected once, but I think I have it down, because it's like the simplest thing, and y you'll see. Because without this spider ball, you need to do this. Do that certain sequence break. And I'm going nowhere. Hey, you can like get stuck up here. Whee! Okay. Yeah, my dad's probably on. Uh, it's a minorly good place to stop. Ooh, I wanna get a. I wanna get your scan. Okay, you shouldn't be spawning anymore. If you do, I'm just ignoring you. I'm defending you on Facebook because I told you to have the Facebook. I think they only spawn once, and that's. I think they only spawn once, and that's it. Alright. I will go. Oh my god. Hold on. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another part of uh, Let's Play Metroid Prime. Phew. <sighs> Left us off getting the bombs and whatnot. And so now we will triple jump in here. Dang it. <coughs> Not Don't. Actually, sometimes I can, like, go so slow. I, like, hit the top bomb. Come on. Bleh. Okay. Yeah. It's pretty annoying. I tried from the same. I hate it when my bombs don't activate. Yes. Yay. And we're stuck in the wall. I should have originally trying to like sequence break the ice beam, like the out of bounds way. I have to tell you, it's pretty hard. I can like get like the first or second step in. But that's it, man. I like get lost around where you have to go through the door. Like the first door. There it just glitches up on me and I'm like, oh no. I like fall in eternity. Okay, I only have four missiles, but that shouldn't be really a problem. Larva. Ah. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. Shakaboom! Yeah. And we're just gonna waltz on right in here and bomb it. I think it like sets up a mine or something. <coughs> but I'm not really sure. Yeah, basically just gotta knock down the mirrors and like No, I don't even know. They don't even look like mirrors. Okay. I don't wanna target the freaking Yeah, don't give me the missiles, whatever you do. I actually think it only takes like one missile to stun you, but whatever. Okay, we're gonna go like herp and a derp and God dang it. No. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Forget it. I'm just going to jump in. Yeah. Yeah, you can just, like, get in that little nook, right? What the heck's up with the green little fireflies around it? I never noticed that. Yeah, actually, I think of, like, hard mode or something. She does this, like, little poison breath or something. Not enough. It's weird. Oh god. 
Okay, I'm just gonna... Oh my god! Yeah, come on. There. I want you stunned so I don't take any damage. We, um, have... I have low energy now. So I'll probably knock over the mirrors then. This time. I'm very close to death. What? That was cheap! Come on. Ah, humbug.